right, this is the uh, waterfall effect in its uh, final form. Well, it's black in here, it actually ends up being kind of uh, whitish in the, in the game itself. Now, the core of this thing is going to be a, uh, a base mesh. So this is the mesh and a wireframe. And you can see that from the sides, you've still got what you kind of have is the way foliage works, kind of a T-shape thing so that you don't end up having things look just like a plane from the side because that looks like crap. And you get yourself a material that uh, sort of makes it so that the material stops rendering right about at this point so you don't really see it from the side quite as much. You go out of wireframe and you can kind of see how that works. It's, it's kind of subtle and it's not perfect. You still kind of get a little bit too much rendering right down here, but it kind of creates the illusion that you've got some kind of depth to it. And this isn't a perfect material, but you want to get a material that uh, just pans and it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of variety. Um, and, and you see it, it's water up here. And the reason why uh, it switches like that is we use different vertex colors. Um, this, these are the vertex colors on this thing. So you use vertex colors to define in the material which part of the texture you want to use or which texture you want to use, what rate of speed, all that kind of stuff, and the opacity. So all these areas in red, red means uh, totally zeroed out opacity. And that's kind of what you get here. So you get the soft edges, you want that soft side, you want that opacity. All right, so we go back to the actual effect itself. So the effect itself is uh, just a couple of different emitters, and they're on top of this mesh. So let's see, the first emitter I'll show you is, this is the splash, that's at the bottom. And the splash can be any kind of particle effect, any kind of particles you want that are a little water-shaped thing. Just want them to grow. Now, you, you can use a image sequence if you want, or you don't have to, or you could use an animating material that... Uh, kind of alphas out the size over time. Then we'll also have a falling cascading set of uh, particles. And you want to use screen alignment PSA velocity on these and have them kind of fall along the shape of your waterfall. And I think it's good to have a second set that's uh, a little bit different so you can have a little bit of mix in with it and it just creates the variety you want. And then at the bottom you'll have some kind of steam. Um, again, you could use, this is just an animated material, there's no uh, image sequence here. You could use an image sequence if you want, an uh, animated thing, but the end result is you put them all together and you kind of get a waterfall. Let's take a look at this. Uh, 